It continues to be an exciting time for the Brown family. The happy news just keeps on coming. Cody and Mary's only child took to their Instagram this morning to share this heartfelt message. Along with some photos, they said, Someone recently told me that I didn't have to have all of my shit figured out in order for me to share myself with the world. So here's me, definitely not having almost any of my shit figured out, to let you know that I am trans. My name is Leon or Leo. I love both, and my pronouns are they, them. I remember the first time that I knew I wasn't a girl. I was pretty young, and unfortunately, I grew up in a context that was incredibly gendered and restrictive. So I continued to be socialized as a girl and later a woman. And here's the thing. I'm finally ready to share my favorite self with the world, and that self is incredibly genderqueer, trans, and unapologetic. Apologetic. Being queer and trans are definitely some of my favorite parts of myself, and yet there are so many things that I am learning to love about myself through this process. Here's to me getting to know myself, share myself, and continually evolve to be the person I am, to be my favorite self in all contexts. I'm sharing this part of myself to let folks in and also to set some boundaries. If you choose to not use my correct name or pronouns, then you do not need to speak to or about me. My name is Leo or Leon and my pronouns are they, them. Please only refer to me in that way. Congratulations to Leon. And this is definitely not something that they needed to share with us, but it was so brave of them to do so. One thing that I really love that Leo addressed is boundary setting. Boundary setting is so important and healthy. I'm really happy that they included that in their message. And it's such a great example, especially for children of reality TV stars growing up in the public public eye, the choices that you were able to make for yourself were very few. It's not a choice they made to be such a public figure and boundary setting is incredibly important. I also wanted to share something that Mary shared at the beginning of June, Pride Month. This was her message. She writes, people shouldn't need to have courage to be who they are. They shouldn't have to feel nervous to share who they're attracted to. They shouldn't have to fear persecution for who they love. Just because you don't understand something or you don't believe in something doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it wrong for you. What a different world this would be if we could accept the fact that we all have different beliefs. We love different. We live different. We look different. That's what makes life and living interesting, the uniqueness of each of us. I don't claim to know or understand everything there is about the LGBTQ community. I read books. I talk to people who know more than me and are open to having the conversation. I ask questions. I'm open to hearing another perspective. I will always defend their right as human beings to be treated like human beings. I will support. I will love. I will defend. I wasn't put on this earth to be the judge and jury to anyone. I was put here to love, and that's what I'll do. Historically, on the show, we've seen that Mary and Leon have had a complicated relationship, but it seems that in recent years, they have grown closer, and this is so nice to see. At the beginning of season 15, that season opened with Audrey and Leon scoping out wedding venues, and then as lockdown happened going into season 16, the kids, the Brown family kids, have become less of a part of the show. And I'm not sure, I'm sure part of that is kids not wanting to participate. And another part of that is the focus was so heavily on the marriages that the children weren't really the focal point. We did see the confrontation between Cody and Gabe in season 16, but as far as children involvement go, that was pretty much the bulk of it for the latest season. Leon's fiance, Audrey, shared at the end of 2021 that they were trans, and through the beginning of 2021, they've been incredibly open with sharing their transition journey. While we know now this is a shared journey that the couple is going through, 
going through together. The end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 was a moment for Audrey to have for themselves. And now Leon is having their moment. Going into season 17, it will be interesting to see how much the Brown children will be involved in the show going forward. Now that presumably filming can resume inside the homes, will we be seeing more of Robin's children? Will the adult Brown children be involved in the show? I know a lot of us viewers, we are very interested to see the Brown children growing into adulthood, starting their own families, starting their careers, and we would love to continue to follow their journeys if they choose to share it with us. Congratulations to Leon, and one thing that Audrey said in their statement at the end of 2021, and that Leon kind of echoed a similar sentiment with their message this morning was that, that they were being their favorite self. And I just think that that is such an inspirational message to send. Hope you're having a good week, everyone. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.